So what we've discussed so far is how it could be the case that insurance markets, which in principle could exist, might not exist because of privately held and asymmetric information. Without a way to make this information symmetric, insurance markets for low risk people are less likely to exist in the first place. There's another reason why some insurance markets that could exist might not exist. And that reason is moral hazard. Now briefly, uh, Tim Harford, the economist, gives a very blunt description of this. If you compensate people when bad things happen to them, they might get careless. Once someone is enrolled in an insurance policy, the cost of doing something bad that is covered by that insurance is now lower than it was before the insurance was purchased. Okay, so insurance lowers the cost of a bad outcome. So, let me give you an example of this uh, from my own life. Several years ago, I bought a Fitbit from Best Buy. When I bought it, I had the option of purchasing a three-year warranty on the Fitbit. This warranty was very generous. If anything at all went wrong with the Fitbit, including if I damaged it somehow, I could bring it to the store and get it replaced with a brand new one, totally free of charge. Let's think about the costs. If I did not buy the warranty, so no warranty, right? If I break the Fitbit, then I lose uh, the Fitbit. Okay. <clears throat> if I wanted to get a new one, I would have to buy one again. I'd have to pay the full price. So in this scenario, being reckless with my Fitbit would have been very, very costly to me. And so I would be much more likely to be careful with it. With the warranty, if I break it, then I get a new one. For zero dollars. Okay. <clears throat> Breaking my Fitbit, therefore, would only cost me a trip over to Best Buy, which was only about 20 minutes away. Because of this, I ended up being much less careful with my Fitbit than I perhaps could have been. I ended up getting it replaced twice, once because I slipped while hiking, smashing it on a rock in the process, and another time because I was working in a wood shop and accidentally pressed the screen against a belt sander. These are avoidable things, but because the cost of doing damage to my Fitbit was so low, they weren't things that I was all that concerned about. As another example of moral hazard, consider all-you-can-eat buffets. Okay. <clears throat> Once you've paid the price of admission into the restaurant, all of the food costs you the same, zero dollars. Are you likely to eat the rice and beans or perhaps the salad at an all-you-can-eat buffet? Or are you more likely to eat the main entrees, which would otherwise be more expensive? Well, of course, you're more likely to eat the more expensive food. The buffet restaurant knows that you are more likely to avoid things like rice and beans and sets their price accordingly. Now, suppose that you only had one option for eating going to this all-you-can-eat buffet that has rice, beans, and then let's say steak or lobster, or not going to this buffet and being hungry. We know that once you're in the restaurant, you're in the restaurant. You will almost certainly eat steak and lobster instead of the rice and beans, and the price will be high enough to cover the high price of steak and lobster. If everyone wanted to eat just steak and lobster, this wouldn't be a problem. But some people might prefer to pay a lower price and only have rice and beans instead of paying a high price and having steak and lobster. Because of the moral hazard problem, this market for rice and beans would not exist. This is a problem because there are potential buyers who only want rice and beans and there are sellers who, if they could, 
would only sell you rice and beans and charge you a low price. So once again, because of the issue of moral hazard, a market that could exist and make both buyers and sellers better off doesn't. Thus, the existence of the moral hazard that people will say they want the rice and beans and then eat the steak and lobster prevents the rice and beans from being an option available.